I thought last season's anime was unbeatable, but keeping up with this season taught me otherwise. From Hell's Paradise to Oshinoko, I'm getting early signs that these will go down as some of the greats. But the best of the best anime are always associated with a couple of things besides greatness. You know what those things are? Stress, sadness, pain, and some more pain. Maybe I'm just taking the shows too serious, but I genuinely stress over my favorites. Attack on Titan has given me as many gray hairs as there is One Piece episodes. But you know what you could do to relieve some of that stress? You could just watch, skip, and I mean, you could just go outside. Going outside is of course an option, but the other is to cool down with the Slice of Life anime. To some, those words are like an ancient curse. There's a stigma around the genre of Slice of Life. People assume that it's either uneventful or boring. While that could be the case at times, I think we're way past that in the anime world. I mean, look at Bochi the Rock, A Silent Voice, Three no Lion. I could list a lot more than you'd expect. Now, I will admit that the category is saturated, given that most categories are now anyways, but I will admit that there are tons of slice of lifes and I pass up on most of them. But when a good one comes around, I know what to do. And this season, that's Skip and Loafer. Skip and Loafer follows an incoming high school freshman named Mitsumi. She's the top of her class and has her entire life planned out, but her first day shows that not everything goes as planned. There's this quote I love from an article written by Game Rants, which basically summarizes my experience. The show is not fluffy or static, but rather seeks to be a fairly realistic exploration of adolescent life. I was a bit doubtful at first. I mean, every time I see a high school setting, I think, Oh shit, here we go again. And even though I want to quote unquote unwind with the slice of life, I don't mean just watching good animation because that can get boring very quickly. But the more I watched, the more I realized how perfect the setting was. High school in a way is a fresh start. It consists of the overconfident people like Mitsumi. The chads like Shima, the shy ones, the bold ones, the overthinkers, and this anime perfectly represents each of those. It no longer feels like tropes, but rather a group of realistic figures. The issues I had in the past with Slice of Life was that trope aspect. A lot of them would rely on either a romantic trope or visual aesthetics to carry the anime. But the best Slice of Life brought something new to the table. In Bochi, that was the visual originality with the great narrative. In A Silent Voice, that was the emotional chords it tugged on with visual perfection. In Three Gods No Lion, that was the journey of recovering from loneliness. And now, in Skip and Loafer, it's the endless lessons portrayed through the character dynamics. Mitsumi and Shima are by far my favorite dynamic. Shima is someone who changed from the day he ran into Mitsumi. He didn't prioritize school and likely wouldn't have if it weren't for the chance encounter with Mitsumi in episode 1. As for Mitsumi herself, she not only wouldn't have made it to school without Shima, but she wouldn't have even introduced herself to others. Both have flaws. Mitsumi is a bookworm and she has to adjust to the city life. And Shima has a past that he doesn't want to discuss, but both complete each other. As Shima himself says, it's not always about being like the other person, but little things like eating with someone who makes the food taste better. Despite these two being polar opposites, they were meant for one another. And these two are just the start. Skip and Loafer shines through its character depth. Mako represents breaking out of your shell and learning from your misjudgment. Yuzuki represents the brain behind the beauty. The character she has and the kindness she brought to Mitsumi is the last thing that others notice about her. And Mika is clearly self-conscious. She seems like a hater at the front. I mean, she judged Mitsumi from the first day and even tried to take advantage of her. But you could see that she's just not confident in herself. And finally now, Mitsumi's aunt who I believe is transgender. It's a topic that I've rarely seen explored in anime, let alone instantly represented. But even in showing this topic, the most important factor of her is shown. And that's her love and caring attitude that she shows towards Mitsumi. This encounter she faces on the train where someone loudly asks if she's a man is likely one of the many she faces day to day. But through it all, she stays solid for Mitsumi and it's nothing other than admirable. 
All of these dynamics are clearly setting up for deeper themes as the anime goes on. It's also enjoyable and has a moving plot, something that other slice of life have a hard time figuring out. A reason I've dropped some in the past is because they lost their purpose. There's no longer a point to a lot of these. The plot just becomes a day in the life and I have no more motivation to watch it. But through the first couple of episodes of Skip and Loafer, I'm intrigued. Not just in Mitsumi, but the other characters as well. Like I said, deeper stories were already hinted at, characters already given depth, and relationships already forming through only three episodes. At this pace, the plot is not only present, but moving enough to keep us as viewers engaged. Now as much as I advocate for Slice of Life's, I have to admit that it rarely holds my attention. I swear I'm not a masochist, well, alright, maybe, maybe a little bit, but shows that make me feel sadness or stress are my favorite. And besides me being mentally insane, I think the pain proves that it not only has my attention, but I'm invested. I'm connected to both the characters and the plot enough to feel genuine emotions. The dark trio that's been blowing up is the prime example of what I'm referring to. But for all that darkness is some light. Humor that's not forced, characters that interact with each other the same way real people would, and a likable, relatable main character who's just finding her way through life, which transcends through the high school setting, because I feel the same currently, attempting to plan out life, but then it comes at me faster than a truck in an isekai. And also little things like meeting new people. When Mitsumi pointed out that she was only getting contacts through other people asking her, I felt that in my introverted soul. But my point in all of this is sometimes it doesn't take a labyrinth of a plot. It doesn't have to be the saddest anime of all time but a realistic portrayal of complex characters is all it takes to create a well-made, must-watch anime. <laughs>